So I finally made it to the Starbucks with the Rossi uh, right behind me. And it's pretty huge. I can see it from the outside. It has five floors, uh, which is really, really huge for a coffee place. I'm going to take you inside and take you on to uh, what five floors Starbucks looks like and what special they have. Sorry. So this is what it looks like. Hi. You can clearly see it's a different kind of an experience. They have all their coffee beans out here, merchandise as well. You can see. So, So on this floor you get a lot of merchandise that you can buy, then coffee machines, uh, Starbucks merchandise, also like cups and everything that you can buy. And you can also buy uh, their uh, speciality coffee beans from here. So that kind of adds to the experience. That is something that you can't uh, get in any other, basically Starbucks. So yeah, so that is something that you might want to get if you want to brew your coffee on your own at your home. If you have a I can see the excitement over here which people have, that you have some exclusive coffee that you're not getting anywhere else. So that experience basically adds. So this is like some of the merchandise that they are selling out here. And you can see the line outside. This is just the rain, obviously. So this place is actually very popular because this being the uh, largest Starbucks grocery in the world. So in here you get a lot of eating options and also some of the specialities that you don't get anywhere else. And I just asked for some of the suggestions that some of the employees could give me. So he suggested that I go for the hazelnut bianco latte with uh, Rwanda. So Rwanda is like basically their coffee beans from Rwanda. So that is what he suggested it would be pretty good. Uh, it won't be too sweet. So yeah, so I'm going for that. So here is my order. So I haven't opted for any additional sugar or syrup or anything uh, because it has hazelnut milk uh, which in itself is a little on the sweet side. Let's see how it is. So it is actually pretty good. It's not too sweet like they were suggesting that if I add additional sugar it will be very sweet. Otherwise, the hazelnut nut milk uh, already has inherent sweetness in it. So, I'd say it's a very good suggestion and a, a really good coffee, I'll say. So, now I'm going to check out uh, the upper floors. Let's see uh, what there is. So this is the second floor. This is again bakery and cafe. You get a lot more options again. And also you have some alcohol available as well, which they put in their coffee. So you can see the scale of it is really huge. So on this floor basically you get uh, a lot of eating options uh, in terms of say croissants, uh, sandwiches, burgers and even pizzas. So a, a lot is going on obviously on this floor. And up uh, on the third floor is the experiential coffee bar. So let's explore that as well. That will be I think pretty interesting.
coffee bar has some amazing moisturized selection of brews and eatables like honey afogato, oleato cold brew which has the patana olive oil in it, whiskey barrel aged cold brew and eating options like princia tart and raisin kerala. And upon the fourth level is the cocktail bar where you can get a taste of barrel aged coffee options like the espresso martini, sparkling sakura allure and also Chicago exclusives like Union Stock and Roastery Boilermaker. And the fifth level which is an open terrace area from where you can enjoy the weather and catch the McMile view as you sip your coffee. So that was the tour of world's biggest Starbucks reserve. Let me know in the comment section if you have been here and what's a go to drink. So see you guys in the next one and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.